Perhaps the most picturesque place to visit in Canary Island is Tenerife. In this video we're gonna talk about places to visit here on the island, so let's get started. The best way to explore the island is to rent a car and there are some companies that even offers you a full insurance included in the price. Behind me, you can see the main attraction in Tenerife, which is of course Mount Teide, that is the highest peak in Spain and the third tallest volcano in the world. A peculiar thing to visit in Tenerife are Roques de Garcia, unique lava formations that they even got names such as La Cascada de Catrido and uh, Roque Sincada, which is considered to be a natural monument. Keep in mind that for climbing the summit you will need to book a reservation online with at least a month in advance. Also, Mount Teide is one of the best places to watch the sunset and for stargazing. Located in the western port of Tenerife, you will find Los Gigantes, a spectacular 500 meters high cliffs. Hiking in Los Gigantes is a unique experience, but be careful when passing the cliffs as you can easily lose the path that is not well marked. Also, if you're a whale or dolphin or scuba enthusiast, then Los Gigantes is a great destination. Below the sea, it is said to be as dramatic as the soaring cliffs above the sea. Tenerife is famous for having some of the best beaches in Spain. The landscape is so diverse from beaches with golden sand to those with volcanic black sand, from busy beaches to more intimate locations, Tenerife has it all. Playa Marilla is one of the most unique swimming spots on the island. It's also a favorite place for divers to explore as you can find lots of ocean life. Beniho Beach is one of the most remote beaches belonging to the town of Taganana. It features a unique landscape on the island and fabulous views of Roques de Anaga, but take extra care with the waves as they can be quite strong. Masca Trail is one of the most popular trails here in Tenerife, but unfortunately you need to book it online. It's totally free and you can do it only during the weekends. Arco de Tajao is the largest and surprisingly little-known rock arch. It has a total of 30 meters in length. A visit to Santa Cruz de Tenerife, the capital of the island, is a great way to experience authentic life. And there are some interesting things to do there as well. Head to the Canary's biggest public square, Plata de España, view the enormous artificial lake and see the sailboat design of Auditorio de Tenerife. Our next stop is Gerachico, a charming town with white houses and cobble streets. I recommend taking a dip in El Caleton, which is the most famous puddle here in Tenerife.
around Tenerife you can find beautiful wild natural pools named charcoals. Their reservoirs made of solidified lava from volcano with amazing forms, filled with water from the ocean. What's more, you can bat in them all day long because the water here is a few degrees warmer. At high tides, these places, especially those with grottoes and caves, can turn out to be dangerous. Also, take special shoes with you as the ground is really rocky. On the northeastern tip of Tenerife, you'll find the oldest part of the island. Anaga is also one of the best hiking spots. The atmosphere here is enchanting, like something out of the fairy tale. You'll need a special permit that you can get online with at least two months in advance. Candelabria has a special air about it. This town is a symbol of religion devotion. It's the meeting point where thousands of pilgrims converge every 15 August to worship their saint. It's also a charming fishing village that has a lovely promenade along the seafront. Pyramid of Guimar is a place of mystery. It comprises six step pyramids, very similar to the Aztec temples, and it's considered to be a stepping point for voyagers between ancient Egypt and the Mayan civilization. La Orotava is probably the best place to visit if you're interested in seeing authentic Canary Island architecture with typical wood balconies. The entire town almost feels like an outdoor museum and just walking its street is a pleasant way to spend your time. El Medano is definitely one of the most famous mountains to hike in the south side of the island. At 171 meters high, the trail to the mountain Montana Roja volcano is perhaps the most popular with hikers and nature lovers who visit El Medano. Pico de los Vinos hosts the most popular tree on all of Tenerife, Drago Milenario. It's considered to be the oldest in all Canary Island and the best view of it is from the town square, which offers a full view and the best angles for photos. Loro Park is the world famous animal adventure park in the Canaries and is considered to be the best zoo in Europe according to TripAdvisor.
Another great destination is Yam Park, the biggest water park in Europe and it attracts over 1.2 million visitors each year. Buena Vista del Norte is like looking at Tenerife with fresh eyes. It literally means great view and this place really lives up to its name. Inland, the Tena Rural Park is a top pick for walkers. Hit the hiking trail here and you'll be surrounded by postcard-worthy mountain scenery and the striking views of the sea. Waterfall on the beach of the Rambla del Castro. My recommendation is to visit this place right before the sunset because you'll take the best pictures. Castillo de San Miguel is a place where we travel back in time to the Middle Ages and enjoy a genuine spectacle of medieval tournaments while having dinner. San Cristobal de la Laguna is the model for several colony cities in Latin America. The pedestrian streets in the city center are always bustling with life and lots of taverns and restaurants and bars. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next one. Bye!